Okay, now we're gonna go to the Raspberry and we're gonna check the files that are inside. Mm -mm. For this, we use SSH over the IP that we are always using. That is the same one, it hasn't changed. You go to the root folder, go to pi, it's the user, uh, Raspberry, okay. It's the password, default stuff. Go to home, pi, documents testing not the PHP stuff okay here there's the two files that I mentioned that is main py main .py, which has modules same thing that I was explaining before about the DV connection initiating the server the database creating the engine setting a path instantiating the camera giving number to the sensors to the port that we're using setting output input as mentioned before same steps with the reflection and the uh, models that we're using and the session which is the one we're going to ask queries to these to send are just vectors that I use in order to get the data before it's done. So just making it by separate and we're gonna try to append the hundred data that is coming from each of them. So right here we got the counter. This counter is gonna tell us how many data points we can get. Here is basically the same as the last file. Here the to send these ones are the ones who are being append to each time that the um, counter has not finished going into 100 once the counter goes into 100 we get the data stamp and we add the data so this is the way we are adding the data to the database to match the structure that i mentioned before in the first video so once we get session commit we save in the data and I'm printing this only for me to know. We reset the counter and we reset the vectors, which are going to save. And of course, every time we go through it, we have to add to the counter though. So, like, in, basically, this is what it was doing. I was going to write the queries from start, but I decided it was not good because the relationships and all the stuff, I didn't want to mess with it. I just want to have models as ORM as the framework does so following the same idea i did this now this is main this is the main file this is the one who saves the one who restores is to retrieves i mean it's a little bit difficult though because this one has threads for handling the real-time data on the sockets a socket io and also have a flask for rendering the the, the response as SQL alchemy also for making the queries and this one are for the reflection stuff we got a path system IO models these are just models that we're gonna use some of them are being used some of them are not used now but it's almost like the other file we start with a flask server this flask server, flask server is going to have the sensors that it's going to read from in case that it is real time with the sockets. So we set them, we have the class thread. So this thread will start as a daemon once it is instantiated. So we have to set the run in order to start reading. So this is what we do right here. We start the thread, but we will only start it if we hit the route that initiated so we can start serving the real time data. Again, SQL connection, the configuration that it doesn't track the modification because it introduces overhead. We create the engine, we initiate the database, we create the models again, just as the main file. But here we start with the socket, so we get socket IO, and we have for the latency and for handling the message that is coming in and out. 
so this is basically the socket part so like it says here if I hit the main the root it is gonna shut down the the socket but it has problems to start the thread again so like since this was not part of the project um, I want to leave it like this this is for the first view the first view that is start the thread and start giving the sockets out and it has a template assigned to it the template also handles sockets on the plane side so it has to be done in a different way the HTML can show you if you want so that's the sockets so the so here is socket do it socket io.js and google charts for making the charts so yeah here get the ping pong we got socket on which is we're receiving the latency we're receiving the data and then we just redrawing on the screen every every since so this is basically it. This is for drawing the chart. I don't think this one was working now because the date is updated, outdated. So once you're gonna load the Google module, it's gonna fail because the date. So like I think socket sparks is done that is done that way. I think it's over. So for the route two, what we do is we stop the thread in case it's running then we initiate the session we get a vector which is the one we're gonna send in uh, just picking all the data without collapsing so it'll be a kind of a mess so we make three queries one for each table we append all the results to it then here we create a dictionary we parse through it we split the data if the key does not exist we add the key and we add an empty vector and we start pushing data to the vector if the key already exists we're gonna start appending to the existing one so after it we're gonna re return two stuff the uncollapsed data and the collapsed data and this one will be rendered to the demo dot HTML demo dot HTML is this template so it has bootstrap because of Carbellos Carbellos stuff so basically it's just rendering some tables and rendering the the structure which is gonna pull the, the it's gonna collapse the names and it's gonna show the different dates and the data that is associated to one to one of each to each I mean so yeah this is the template so if you wanna see it working you could do it test main first so if you check the main one it's gonna take a while because he will create the models Okay, 
camera is enabled. I'm not sure why it's not working. Despite the trimming the paywall. What the fuck is wrong with the camera? Okay. That's why I fucked up yesterday. So, camera. It's about to go down. Would not use the camera anymore. Camera and play camera or tap now. Let's try to run that again. Here, so it is taking data. One, each one of them is being stored to the um, array. Here, saving when it stops. Once it saves, it start reading again. And that's how it's being stored. So this is main.py working. I'll cancel this. After it saves the next one, and I'll cancel, I'll clear, and then I'm gonna run test.py. So test.py. What's the service on? Have to go here, open the browser. Closed. Go to the number one. Once it starts the server, and we see the sockets. Now the data is coming in. Still haven't started. So, God damn, it takes a fucking while. There must be an internet connection, otherwise it's gonna fail. Every time it doesn't find the connection to the database, then we're gonna fail. So here is loaded. And we're gonna start with start with the sockets part. And see how data is coming in. It must have a lot of latency. So you can see how the data is coming in, with the latency, the graph is not showing due to the, that is outdated. So if we check the console, for for not found, it was not defined. So this is because of the, um, of the, of the data, it is outdated, so you will not find it. It's okay if we close this and we go to the number two. We have an exception. Very good. So once we finish this, we can go and check the facility. This is all the data that is being rendered. It has like sound, light, what is not collapsed. 
I just render as a table so people could see. So right now, I will try to show how the collapsing worked. And we see sound sensor. We will display the different different data that is stored within light and ultrasonic with the different timestamps so you can pick whichever you want I mean there will be the data so this is one of the requisites that we're told to do so so yeah another thing that we could do is to start graphing this data like I'm doing in the normal tree so here's light sensor and the data stamp so like you can check the um, how the sensor value is changing over time and that is say over 400 because I have the light the light on also number four is for giving a endpoint this endpoint must show everything to be retrieved as a plain text so like this endpoint will assure that the data can be pulled to be stored somewhere else and that's it that's the functioning of the of the program so far that's what I was being told to do so and I think it should be okay like this right uh, if you guys have any questions just let me know uh, sorry for not being yesterday there uh, it was an Alejandro, an Alejandro's uh, goodbye so yeah Sorry, let me know if you need anything else, alright?